Hi, this is Eileen Fleming, and you're tuned in to 105.4 FM Rainbow, uh, the station of the nation, sending you my love and solidarity from the USA uh, with and for Democracy WAP. Uh, you know, I really am a blonde, but I went red after my first of seven trips to Israel and occupied Palestine in 2005. Uh, one reason was because when I returned home, I was flaming mad um, over what I learned, and I've been trying to wake up Americans to the fact that Israel is not and never was a democracy, but is an ethnocracy, uh, which is really the opposite of a democracy, although it does incorporate some elements of a democracy, such as universal citizenship and elections, um, but an ethnocracy arises when one particular group, such as the Jews in Israel, uh, Russians in Russia, uh, the Protestants in pre-1972 Northern Ireland, uh, the whites in apartheid South Africa, and if they had their way, the USA fundamentalist Christians um, who will seize control of the government and armed forces in order to enforce a regime of privileges over other groups in what is in fact a multi-ethnic and multi-religious society. Uh, in order to communicate this message and much more, I established my website, wearewideawake.org, and uh, became a citizen journalist, meaning one who does not take orders uh, or assignments from editors um, and does not get paid by any corporations or conglomerates, but goes out and seeks the truth. A uh, citizen journalist is beyond a blogger. Uh, we go out and report for the people. Um, I also wrote two, top, two books on this topic, uh, Keep Hope Alive and Memoirs of a Nice Irish American Girl's Life in Occupied Territory. Um, and if you Google Eileen Fleming, uh, you will see I am pretty much all over the web. Uh, but everything originates at wearewideawake.org. Um, why I became so involved um, in this Israeli-Palestinian conflict is because knowledge brings responsibility, and the U.S. media has not, is not, uh, been reporting uh, in a fair or balanced way on the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, and the American government has not been an honest broker for peace um, in the so-called Holy Land, which has uh, been decimated into bandistans, uh, disconnected enclaves, open-air prisons, uh, denying the indigenous people of that land justice, equal human rights. And if you click on wearewideawake.org, scroll down on the home page, and you will see a map of what we call the Holy Land today. Uh, see what I'm talking about. Uh, because I believe, I know, all the children of the world deserve much better uh, future and a reality than we adults have created for them, and because some of the sweetest and the very most neediest children uh, right now are in Haiti. I will soon be on my way there with the medical group. Uh, by education, I'm a registered nurse. By vocation, I'm a writer. And uh, my message to the people of Goa and the world is that in solidarity, uh, we do have it in our power to begin the world again. Uh, begins with telling the truth. The truth will set us all free. And uh, Democracy Wow for me is all about equality. Uh, the sacredness of every life and all of creation. So thanks for having me on. Uh, keep on rocking with comedy, philosophy, politics, and telling the truth, uh, because we really are uh, the other, just in different skin, different places and times. But everything is connected, and uh, in solidarity, we will change the world. Okay, how do I stop it? Oh, Johnny, I don't know how to stop it. <laughs>